Dallas don't fuck around, bro. Dallas. Mm. D Town ain't fucking around, bro. They show you that man look. Ooh, Dallas. It's like it's down there like I'm from there, bro. It, it, Dallas. Bro, the first time, man, Dallas. Man, you is, cultivated that, though. You all, you is, never left Dallas out. You always come show love. Southside is the realest. I'm going to make you feel it. Microphone bliss. That's the Dallas taste. I blend it in with my stains. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk. Man, Chicago. I probably wouldn't have did a theater tour if it wasn't for Chicago. Chicago gave you that confidence boost? Chicago... No, it was the, it was the atmosphere of it. I did, I did theaters with other people before, but and I was like, man, I could just stay in the clubs and make a bunch of bread in the club. Then I went to the Vic Theater in wow. Chicago, right? This thousand seater, man. It we when we sold it out, right? In the, I, I walked out in the energy of that thousand people at man. one time, right? I say, yeah, I'm going I'm to I'm sign this deal with this, for this theater. And then the dude say, if you sign a deal for the theater, when we come back, we're not going to be playing the Vic. We're going to be playing the Chicago theater. I say, well, how much is that hole? He said, 3500 I said, 1000 3500 He said, next year, you'll be able to do it. Tickets went on sale for the whole tour, right? Chicago sold out first. And yeah. I was, and it was, I was, I wasn't coming for about four or five months. Man, I walked out, thirty five hundred. I said, "Yeah, this shit is crazy." <laughs> and the way that it, man, they they showed that love. Oh man, and and then after, after Chicago, cause Chicago was crazy, man. DC, DC love, show that love. Then, then DC. But if I had to put somebody on the top that that popped out of nowhere, because it used to be it DC been around for a while. Chicago yeah. just came Love on, DC. Just came on. Atlanta been Atlanta been chopping at it for a minute. North Carolina been like, yo, we love this motherfucker. Um, Florida, Ohio. Like I, they, I play they, I play they, a lot of places in Ohio, like five times in. But bro, your comedy is so You do different. out of the country too? Yeah, London. It's the uh, way you get they, down you get with the same sort of love? Yeah, oh yeah, he same, a bad yeah. boy. Because it's, it's different. Your comedy is different, bro. Brazil, London, Belize, all over. It's just been it's been great. Um, Japan, Tokyo, Amsterdam. The Caribbean? All that, all, that, yeah, all that's been, all that's been great. You think he know about everything yeah, in the Caribbean? But then, let me tell you, right now, who at the top of the goddamn totem pole who? for the last three years? Bro, and this shit is insane. It, it and it and it and it makes it better here. Yeah, makes it better here. Why? Who? Because Dallas don't fuck around, bro. Dallas, mm. D Town ain't fucking around, bro. They show you that man look. Ooh, Dallas. It's like it's down there like I'm from there, bro. It, it, Dallas. Southside is the realest. I'm gonna make you feel it. Back to Dallas, taste of blending in with my stains. But what's the biggest venue you've done in Dallas? Man, shit, the majestic. He's about to come to majestic yeah. again. It's gonna go crazy. Yeah, How that, many people that fit? But we we it's fifty two hundred tickets sold oh. over the weekend. Yeah, yeah. So it, it Dallas and is, I love I love majestic but Dallas. Even if not the venue, it's the amount of people mm -hmm. we sold out ten shows at Addison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the year before that, they had sold out seven, and I remember it because I said it was a, it was a it was a Third show on a Sunday that we had added. I said, man, if they sell out this third show on a Sunday, man, I'm going to do something that's, that's, that's all type of anti-everything. It's anti-Christ, it's anti-Semitic, it's anti-me, <laughs> it's anti-man, it's anti Come everything. on, man. It's anti, it's, it's, it's the crucifixion of life because I am a diehard Giants fan. I said, I'm going to buy a Cowboy jersey and I'm going to wear it on Sunday. It's gonna probably do something to my skin, <laughs> all type of shit. I'm gonna probably die. And afterwards, I'm gonna throw up all over the show, but I'm gonna do it. Man, I went and bought, didn't they sold that show out? I went and bought a jersey. And I said, first of all, this nigga Tony Doyle said I ain't play for you niggas. <laughs> Why wow, this goddamn jersey two hundred dollars? Oh, it's bad. It's definitely it like, there. It was like two thousand. I bought a real jersey. 
I signed it. I, when I walked out with it on Sunday, them niggas lost their mind. Cause they, they, they know. Because I, man, you know I've started, about the you know I've started every interview I've ever done in, on any radio show. All the sports channels. On any, I don't, you go on anybody's show, I've said this with gusto. And I start the show with like this. I said, man, y'all know I'm going to say it. They be like, you better not. I'm like, you know I'm going to say it. Man, fuck the Cowboys. I started, I, I've said this with gusto. And then I hate the Cowboys. What? And, then in and Dallas, you come out wearing in it. Dallas. And you had to I'm come a out Giants fan. I'm a Giants. What, what you think I'm gonna say? I seen you up there with DJ Envy and and, and, and Charlemagne. DJ Envy loved that Charlemagne. All the nigga loved me. But but what I do though? I bought that jersey. I come in that city. I so love. But I think Dallas love the fact that they know, nigga, this is an honest fan. This nigga hate us. We we love him, but he just hate the team. He love the city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I, why I'm a and it's cause I am a Giants fan. Hardcore. Hardcore. I do everything for the Giants, but man, if, if I lose, if we lose to y'all, nigga, I lost. You know but when y'all lose to us, oh, nigga, it's all type of that y'all ain't have your coach. The, the weather wasn't right. Um, nigga pausing, we the nigga, 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 nigga. nigga pausing to kick her. Nigga, all type of shit y'all come up with. <laughs> nigga, nigga, nigga. <laughs> Them niggas be, hey, Bubba Doe had me laugh. Shout out Bubba Doe, man. He had me laughing. Cause he ain't, he ain't do a motherfucking today. He go crazy every time they lose. I was like, man, he gonna be going crazy that, all year. That, that, East Texas, that East Texas nigga gonna be going he crazy gonna be going all year. He gonna pull all his goddamn hair. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.